What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say I'm doing a dollar raffle on this shoe. This is a size seven and a half. And if you want to join the raffle for this shoe, you can go check that out down in the description below. It says Jordan One Raffle. Just click on the link and it'll take you straight to where you can buy the ticket. It won't be this exact pair, but it will be a DS pair. Anyways, moving on to today's video, I have been getting a lot of questions on the Foot Sites app, and I decided that I'm actually going to show you guys how I do it directly. I can't show you right now because the phone is what I'm recording with, but I will show you an image of my screen and what I do and what you have to do to check in for the shoe. And also little tips and tricks on what you can do to improve your chances. All right, so let's go. All right, so what you want to do once you're on your phone, you want to go to, over to one of the foot sites app, or you can go to all three of them, but you got to go one by one, obviously. So you want to start off by going to any of them. I'm going to go to Foot Locker. And once you open the app, you are going to get to this screen. If you're not logged in, it's going to take you to the screen to log in. Or if you don't have an account, then you have to sign up. But for the most part, you're here because you do have an account. And you want to start off by going to the VIP. And then you want to make sure that you are a Platinum VIP for Foot Locker, a Gold Star Club member for Foot Action, and a Platinum VIP for Champs. All right, so once you see that, you want to go over to the Launch Locator. And in my case, I already made my reservations for the two shoes. But let's just say, for example, I want to do the Yeezys. What it's going to bring you to first is basically this screen right here. And you want to go to Select Stores. And here you're going to put your zip code in at the top where it says 33323 and you want to select the three nearest stores towards you and then click done. After that it's going to tell you to select quantity but the only quantity it gives you is one so you can't even change that. And select your size. I did go size 8 on these because they do run a little small so I decided to go have a size up. And after that after you go and select your size click done it's going to bring you over to this screen right here. And what you want to do is as you can see where it says my head start it says five minutes for me and the reason for that is if I go to head start details up at the top you can see I have 300 second head start. And the first one is for being a VIP member, so that's just for being a member in the store. The second one is for being a platinum VIP, which is for spending $300 or more in the store, which gives me another two minute head start. So in total there, I have a five minute head start. But the next one is the check-in at the store, which if you tap on it, it tells you here. So check-in at the store, enable Bluetooth and tap check-in if you're unable to access a beacon. Tap on the tap here link and enter the four digit password that you can obtain from a store associate. So what you have to do here is that you have to go into the store physically go next to the register and tap check in and if it says no beacon in range then just go over to an employee and ask him for the code to check in and this 60 second head start will give you a total of six minutes head starts and i don't have that yet because i haven't gone to check in but i will do that today and as you can see i do have until 6 15 tomorrow to check in and then on friday around six o'clock i will be notified if i got the shoe or not and for some reason i already have a six minute head start on this one. Oh, it's because i went to Foot Locker, but at the time when I checked in for this shoe, Foot Locker didn't have the Yeezy there, so I gotta go back again to Foot Locker and check in. Anyways, it's pretty much as simple as that, guys. It's not that hard. All you gotta do is be a member, spend the $300 in the store, and go to check in and hope for the best. So it's honestly a matter of luck. So really, you can't really depend on this app as much, but for me, it's the most successful way I've gotten shoes, so that's why I go with this method. And this Yeezy release is actually pretty widely available according to Yeezy Mafia, and they are usually accurate with their numbers, but supposedly they have more pairs in Europe than they do in the US, so let's just hope for the best, guys. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 2,000. We're trying to get to that by the end of this year, and if you guys are able to do that, I do have a special video for you guys. Make sure you stay woke. It's your bar, Sneaker signing out. Peace.